a job considering that potentially you guys can be in first place in the West and you hadn't even been healthy, not one game fully, the team. What type of message does that send to the rest of the league? Um, something we pretty much not focused on. You know, we're not worried about that. Um, you know, we go into each and every game, each and every day with the same mindset, and that's, you know, winning the day. And um, no matter, you know, who's out there on the floor, who's not, uh, we go out and play the same way. And, you know, credit to our players, you know, for – being ready to go when their number is called. And, you know, that's pretty much, you know, been our identity when guys are out. We have guys that step up and, you know, play big time for us to get wins. So. Drew. Drew, two things from me. First, uh, what does it mean to you to be the franchise leader in triple doubles? And then second, how do you know when the right time to gritty is in the middle of the game? Um, first, you know, it's an honor, big time. You know, there's a lot of great players, you know, been, you know, in this organization and, you know, for me to, you know, be the, you know, franchise, you know, record holder for triple doubles is, is crazy. Um, obviously, you know, something, you know, you got to earn. But um, I feel like my teammates right up there with me, you know, with history. Obviously, it's my name. But, you know, without those guys, you know, it wouldn't have been possible. Wouldn't have the assists. Wouldn't have been able to, you know, have the points without them out there on the floor. You know, they opened up so much, you know, for me on the floor. And um, also, you know, it helps them as well. And, them being able to knock down shots big time. And the gritty question, uh, I really don't know, honestly. It's just whenever I feel it, you know, get the crowd more involved. Um, they've been big time for us all year, um, you know, with our record here at home. And I think everybody loves when I gritty, so. <laughs> uh, Josh, so um, when talking about the celebration for your triple double, Taylor, Taylor said you sent everything to your teammates. And you can see, like, this – excitement and flair when you have a certain look that sets up your teammate just where does that joy for you come from and just finding your teammates um i felt like i've been saying you know since coming out the drive you know i love to pass the ball and you know when you passing the ball and you know everybody's involved everybody's happy everybody out there playing with confidence you know you just see the team out there just playing with such a joy and you see how contagious it is with you know how the ball you know moves around you know the court and the open looks we get. Um, and I feel like, you know, that's pretty much what the great teams do. You know, everybody's very unselfish, share the ball, and everybody's out there happy um, and playing with joy. And for me, you know, I feel like that's the number one thing. You know, um, I always said, you know, the points really don't matter for me. You know, if, you know, I'm going out there and getting my teammates involved and we win the game, I'm happy. Um, we just got to continue to keep building from this, continue to, you know, share the ball and um, continue to, you know, play with confidence. Uh, Ja, another question just about your triple-double night, but more about the rebounding because you had like seven rebounds in the first four or five minutes of the game. Yeah, crazy. Uh, <laughs> what – when you rebound the basketball, it looks like it, like a track meet, you know, when you're getting back up the court. What's the difference for you? Like when you grab the rebound and you're pushing the tempo as compared to when one of your teammates grab the rebound and they get it to you? Like what's what's the difference in that time frame into getting into the offense? Um, I would think probably about a second or two. <laughs> um, you know, just um, waiting to, you know, receive the outlet and, you know, getting out and run versus, you know, me actually getting a rebound and getting out of run is – you know, different, you know, once I get the rebound, I feel like everybody knows it's straight line, you know, me pushing the break. And normally when I do, guys get out pretty much and run. Um, obviously, I feel like, you know, I can be better in situations with, you know, not having to start the break and be the one, you know, getting out and running and, you know, allowing my teammates to push the ball. Um, I'm still trying to, you know, break that habit. It's pretty much, you know, what I was used to, you know, coming up, you know, being that – guard there for safety um but you know i'm working on it so um obviously i know you know pretty much our breaks pretty much start with me you know our pace and i try to get out and run as much as possible because i feel like that's you know where we're very dangerous obviously you get a lot of you know mismatches in those areas cross matches you know guys not getting back and that's what we excel at you, you talk about the the joy and the confidence when everybody's touching it uh, how aware are you, like, today in the first half when, when Jaron hasn't necessarily gotten a lot of touches, hadn't gotten a lot of shots, and kind of making it a priority to, to get him involved? And then, you know, what are you seeing from him, not just tonight, but, you know, since he's been back offensively and, you know, where can maybe that be enhanced? Um, obviously, I feel like 
how our offense has been more balanced, you know, this year. Um, Sometimes you have guys, you know, who got it going. It's pretty much the defense. Um, you know, early on tonight, I felt like the defense basically was packing and trying to show me and Jaron as much bodies as possible. And, you know, our job is to play make in those situations. You know, I always, you know, when he has the ball, I always tell him, you know, you play make. Um, it's tough because if he missed a shot and I say it, he's like, oh, I got to pass the ball, which, you know, that's pretty much not the case. It's playmaking. I look at it as creating for you and your teammates. Um, and, you know, me and him both been on each other about that, you know, being better in that area and just reading the defense and, you know, trusting the early pass or whatever. And obviously, you know, he's a big piece to our team, so we still got to find ways, you know, to get him touches uh, whenever we can, if it's early, you know, getting out and running or, um, if we isolate him on, you know, a backside action or anything, we are still early in the season. Um, obviously, you know, different teams show us different looks. And, you know, I feel like tonight was, you know, big time for us, uh, for me and him, uh, with seeing bodies. And, you know, now can watch the film and break it down from there. More quickly, Avery, Colin, and then Jared. two things. One, Zaire Williams comes back tonight. As you guys continue to get healthy, what does he add to this to your team, and what does that depth add for your team? And then two, there's a funny tweet saying, you know, you have better stats when your hair is tied back, your braids are tied back. So I got to come to the source and I got to ask, do you feel you do you play better with your hair tied back, or is it better with it up? Um, first, you know, he's a big piece to our team. Obviously, you know, getting it going, you know, later on in the year, last year, getting comfortable. Um, he brings a lot to the team um, on both ends of the floor, you know, with his length, being able to shoot the ball and create off the dribble. Um, and then defensively, you know, being able to go out there and, you know, guard the best players. Um, it's a key piece to us. Happy to have him back. Obviously, um, we still got to, you know, get him in a rhythm. Um, I felt like he played well tonight, minus the box scores. That's pretty much why, you know, I don't look at the stats, I look at film. And it was shots he's been taking, you know, pretty much for us since he's been here and been knocking them down at a high level. So, um, yeah, happy to have him back. And, you know, second, um, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, do I need to keep the braids? <laughs> they just get, a t- get tight sometimes, man. I'll be having to, you know, let them out. But, hey, if, if I play better with braids and, you know, they get me a ring, then braids it is. <laughs> Ja, uh, like he's, he mentioned, Zaire back, Jaren's back, and you said that the team, the offense is more balanced. So what does that mean knowing how scary you guys can be, especially when Dez comes back? It um, means a lot. You know, teams obviously can't focus in, you know, on one guy or two guys. Um, we have a lot of guys out there now um, being able to, you know, play make for them and, you know, the team. Um, which is big time. Um, obviously, you don't have to be on ball as much. It gets us open looks, which, uh, you know, we love to get. And like I said, balanced scoring. When you have a lot of guys, you know, who can score the ball and, and play make, it's, it's, it's tough to guard. So um, credit to, you know, our guys for, you know, picking this team and um, balancing us out. And credit to my teammates for, you know, putting in the work and, you know, taking their game to that next level. Um, you showed last year that you had confidence in Zaire. You showing the same confidence in Sante. You kick it out to him on a regular basis, and to David. Talk about their development and how much they have grown that much to earn your respect to get that open shot and open pass from you. Um, I feel like it started with them. You know, me just coming in, seeing how they've been working, pretty much. You know, putting in the work each and every day um, is a you know great sight to see for me. Um, you know, me being in the gym all the time. You know, seeing those guys actually taking it serious and you know, want to be better, and you can see it with how they've been playing. And, you know, I, I believe in, you know, each one of my guys down the board, um, I pass up a shot from any day of the week and trust that, you know, they'll knock it down. And those guys have been playing at a high level. Um, obviously, it's still me, you know, reading the defense and, you know, playmaking off that. But um, a lot of credit to those guys, you know, for putting in that work. And you see it translates to the game. So. Thanks, John. Thanks, John.